Hey there and welcome to another video with Ulrich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Active Campaign with your WordPress site using Elementor Pro. Uh, you can actually add your Active Campaign form anywhere on your website, whether it's on your blog post, on your sidebar, or on your opt-in page. So in this video, I'm just going to walk you on how to do that. So stay tuned, I'll walk you through my PC right now. Okay, guys, now we are on my PC right now. As you can see, you must log into your Active Campaign dashboard as well as your WordPress dashboard. This is my WordPress dashboard as well. Uh, one very crucial point that I want to mention is you must have Elementor Pro. And Elementor Pro is, is paid, it's not free. There is a free version, but the free version won't allow you to do what we are about to do in a minute. I'll leave a link of my Elementor Pro in the description down below. There is a 30 day refund policy. Uh, if you're not happy with the product, you can always refund the product in 30 days. But with my experience, Elementor is a great platform. So there is a personal plan that starts at $49 a year. Uh, there's a plus plan 99 and there's an expert one, which is 199. For me, I think the $199 is the best value you will get for your money really because you have access you can install it on up to 1000 website which is amazing right so with just a hundred dollar more you you get a way 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 better value for your cash if you do have many websites you can go ahead with the expert one it is fantastic so once you've got your elementor you now need to head back into your active campaign dashboard and click here on settings and on settings click on developer so what we're interested here is about is is the url and the api key so we need to go to our wordpress dashboard and click here on elementor settings on elementor settings click on integrations and you need to scroll down to active campaign as you can see this is active campaign i'm going to hide my api and url key so where it says url and api head back into your active campaign and just copy these credentials and then paste it right so you will just paste the url where it says url and the api key where it says api key and don't forget to save it afterwards so once you've done with this process you now need to come here to pages click on pages and on pages, you have to select the page where you want to install uh, your active campaign form or your opt-in form. In this case, I will install it on my done for you services. So I, I'll click here on ATB Elementor. And as you can see, this is my landing page, guys. It's, it's not the, the most beautiful or the most good looking landing page, but, I, but, but, but I'm just gonna show you where to install your your opt-in form right so what you need to do is you need to click here on this plus button i'm going to add a row right so and then click here again on the plus button here what we're interested here is a form so type form and i'm going to drag that form down here so this is how our form looks you can add or delete form fields so as you can see, I do have name, email, message, right? I can get rid of uh, message. I only need people names and email, that's it. I can add more if I want to add more things like telephone number, you know, and other credentials if I need to, but I don't need to. I only need name and email. And button, this is the button, as you can see. I can customize my message. I'll change the message here. I'll say, so my message here is get the ultimate guide to copywriting. So, and then I can increase my, the size of my button. I can say medium. I can even go to large, by the way. And the icon, I can go to the icon library and add an arrow something very indicative and insert my arrow there so as you can see i have an arrow printing asking people to click and get 
the ultimate guide to copywriting uh by the way this is my offer it's absolutely free you can go you can go on my website and get this copy for you for free and now once you've done that you can improve the spacing here guys i'm not going to mess around try and play around with this spacing you can play around with that in your own timing and where it says now action after submit button i need to come down here and click on active campaign and on active campaign i need to click here on active campaign and where it says api key i'll leave it to default uh, list i will need to select a list right these are the lists that i've created on my active campaign already but if i just select a list here you're not going to know how to create a list right and you're also not going to know how to create a form so i need to show you how to create a form so let's head back into my active campaign account click here on list So here on list, these are some of the lists that I have available here. And I can click here on add a list and I'll name my list. So I can name that the guide to copywriting. And if I, if I have a URL, I'll put here my URL. Uh, list description, I'll just say something here really. I'll just say you recently opt into my page, guys. This, this is just a message. You can customize the message in your own liking afterwards. And then I'll just click here on add. So now I've created my list, which is the guide to copywriting. So guys, I've created the list and now I need to come here to uh, click on sites here. And on sites, I need to click on forms. And on forms, I need to create a form. So I'll name this specific form. So guide to copywriting, as you can see with the current plan I'm using, I'm using the, the, the basic plan the basic plan costs around i think 12 dollar including vats or less i think it's nine dollars i'm not pretty sure of the exact amount however if you you know if you have more contacts you can go for for a higher plan right but the plan that i have only allows me to have so 500 contact per month right so uh it, so my plan only allows me to have the inline right and here where it says action, subscribe to list, I'll leave it to subscribe to list options. I'll select the specific list that I've created is get your free copy and then click here on create. So guys, this is how my forms look like. Um, it says subscribe for email updates, full name, right? So here on the left hand side, it says integrate field style option. So at the moment we are here on the field. So I need to delete full name because I only need the first name. I don't need a full name. So I'm going to delete the full name and leave the first name. So as you can see, that's how it looks. I have the first name, email, that's it. I don't need more. Uh, here on the text, I can customize the text here. I can say, get your free copy of copywriting book. So this is just an example, right? But you can word it in a better way. Add a description message. So I'll say here, one thing I would say in this specific area is do not mess around with the bracket p in the brackets right p those p the first one that's the entry and p in the bracket second so just delete the text in the middle and insert your your own text there so i'll say download i'll just say download my free copy right and then i'll leave the first name and everything there now when it comes to style you can style up your opt-in form the way you want white you can have as many color or make it as stylish as you want as as it looks right now it's just plain black and white right but you can make it look the way you want uh background you can change the background as well you know 
font color you can change the font color border and all these details i'm not going to go into that you know that design that part of design right now but you can do that on your own timing now where it says on option uh this is where it says sure thank you yes you should so sure thank you uh subscribe to list right i need to click here on opt-in options so opt-in confirmation is basically when somebody opts in to your form they will get a message in the email says do you want to actually opt into this specific form right i don't want them to receive that message i want them to receive the offer straight away or i want them to receive my lead magnet or my free stuff straight away so this specific detail i don't need it i'll just switch it off and then click on save uh once i've done all of that i need to click here on integrate so uh, uh these are the codes that active campaign give us right uh, you, you can use this code to integrate on your website but i don't need these codes we are doing it differently so we are integrating it with uh, elementor pro so let's save and exit so now you know how to create a form right so this that bit is sorted uh where it says list here you can now select your list right i want my list to be get your free copy and fill fill mapping first name right i can just leave that to name email is mandatory so i just need to make sure that where, where it says fill mapping i make sure it's the same thing up here so where it says email make sure you select email uh first name make sure you select name right and that's it these are the two fields and step settings where it says type number of text don't worry about that i'm not really going to stress about that additional custom messages i can switch this on right and where it says success message the form was successfully sent right so i can customize this message once somebody sends uh once somebody decides to opt into my um opt-in form i can say something else instead of saying the form was successfully sent i can say something else so i can say your ultimate guy was successfully sent right so you customize it in your own liking uh anything here you can customize it and then i leave that bit so i'll now go back again into uh, action after submit right i can click here on redirect right so here for example if for example i want to redirect somebody right uh to if for example i want to redirect somebody to a thank you page of or maybe to an upsell right or to a specific page i can just click here on redirect and then in here i'll enter the url of where i want to redirect the person so guys that's how you integrate active campaign to your wordpress website with elementor pro so guys that was all about how to integrate active campaign on your wordpress website using elementor pro so thank you very much for watching this content if you really enjoy this content please type integrate in the comment section down below uh, i love you so much i do have a lot more content on wordpress you know there's so many content about wordpress website that i have on my channel and i even have a video about how to build a website right on wordpress using elementor um, there's so much content i have about wordpress on my channel so guys make sure you also check up those content i will leave a playlist of those content in the description down below and you can also check out other content on my youtube channel guys uh, this is a place for you this is a place where you can learn a lot to help you build a better business so guys thank you very much for tuning in and i'm looking forward to see you next time take care bye